Hi, it's Jane Mason here from Virtuous Bread. How are you today? I hope you're well. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make chili oil, which is a super, super um, useful condiment to have in your refrigerator. You can put a few drops of it into a soup for the Asian soup hack that I told you about in a previous video. You can use it to zhuzh up a kind of boring pizza or pasta sauce. Uh, you can put a few drops of it in any kind of Chinese food that you're eating. Uh, I even like it on eggs, seriously. Just a few little drops on eggs. It's fantastic. So it's a really versatile condiment. And by the way, that word <laughs> always makes me laugh. That's how puerile I really am. I thought I was a grown up, but I'm not because the word condiment makes me laugh. Does it make you laugh? I want to know. Actually, I want to know what other words make you laugh. Now, back to our program. Um, chili oil. There are lots of different kinds of dried chilies and the one that I like for chili oil is a really plain, I'm going to show you, here's my package from Mexico, chile de arbol, okay? <clears throat> chile de arbol is both, uh, comes fresh and dried. So this is what it looks like when it's dried, okay? And you can use, if you want, look I've got a package here of cayenne pepper, okay? You can use that. Uh, you can use Korean uh, chili powder, which some people feel is um, a little bit sweeter than other kinds of chilies. Use whatever chili you like. And if you like something different, like if you have a chipotle uh, that's dried, you'll have very smoky oil, it will be super. If you have a morita, it will be also super hot and smoky oil. If you have a mora, it will be spicy, but a little bit more fruity as well. So, you know, whatever kind of dried chili you like or you can get your hands on, that's what you want to use. So anything goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 250 uh, mils of vegetable oil. Okay, it isn't olive oil because I find olive oil has too strong of a flavor. So this is just um, grapeseed oil. Use whatever vegetable oil you like, whatever vegetable oil you have. And I'm going to use um, 20 grams of these chile de arbol. And I've just, I've snapped off the top. So when it has a little stock on it, I just snap that off. But I put that into a saucepan, seeds and all. I'm just gonna show you here, okay? There it is. And I'm gonna add my oil. Ah, and it goes. Now, that's as complicated as it gets. Super not complicated. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on the stove and I'll put it on low heat and you wanna watch it. You don't wanna go away and lose yourself in doing something else. Just put it on low heat and gently, gently warm it. And when literally the first bubble breaks the surface, turn the heat off and leave everything in the pan until it cools down completely. And that way you don't burn the chilies and the oil doesn't taste bitter because really too hot oil can actually burn the chilies. Um, and it, yeah, bitter, bitter flavor, not nice. That's it. When it's completely cool, strain off the oil, keep the oil. <laughs> you're, not, you're not in this case keeping the dried chilies, although you can, you can use them for other things. More on that in another video. Um, so keep the oil and in this case, throw away the chilies or use them for a recipe you know, or save them and watch some more recipes that I have further down that call for those exact chilies. But in this case, what you're interested in is the oil. Pop the oil in a jar, seal it up, stick it in the fridge, and it will last there for several months. I don't think it'll last that long though, because it's really yummy. Okay, enjoy, bye for now.